after the transition period, all US dollar denominated Nifty derivatives and contracts of them are being exclusively traded in the NSC IFSC. And again, based on October 2023 20, figures, the derivative contracts on the NSC International Exchange was 3.02 billion US dollars. The much awaited matter of direct listing of stocks and gift IFSC was announced earlier. We are going through the process in a very systematic manner and I'm confident that it will happen at the earliest. With that, Indian companies should be able to access global funds easily being listed in India. We have, several of us have mentioned that by 2047, India should reach a $30 trillion economy size. FinTech adoption in this country is at the highest. The rate is about 80%, 87% as against global 64% only. So the adoption rate shows that with the rapidity with which technology is going to influence India's financial um, inclusion and also financial empowerment. And uh, that is why I think Gift City should be the place for finance and technology related entrepreneurs. We aim to build here a diverse fintech laboratory for the world and, that, and address several needs. I list three of them. India fintech firms wanting to go global should be here. Foreign fintech firms who want to come to gift IFSC naturally will have to be here. Indian fintech firms aiming to grow their Indian business or wanting to work on regulatory sandbox through which they can have a proof of concept should be here. So you've got three diverse areas, all of whom can benefit by being present here. One of the things which I'd like to highlight in this context, because we're talking about aspirational India, looking at Gift City as its threshold, is a clear thought which Honorable Prime Minister has been expressing. He expressed it even yesterday. We need to have a greater understanding of how we can handle the carbon and green related issues in the global green financing matters. We need to have a platform through which credits can be sold and bought. In fact, Honorable Prime Minister very clearly conveyed we shouldn't approach it with a cynical or negative line saying carbon credits. All of us are in principle against em emission of carbon. But at the same time, all of us are on the agreeing side when we talk that the world should be a lot more greener. So, Prime Minister of India's suggestion was that there, is, there should be a platform where green credits can be traded. And that platform should be located in IFSC, and I would think the authorities here should work on getting a platform ready so that green credits can be sold for people who are planting a good lot of trees. Miyawaki forests are coming up all over the country. Some credits for that and any other practices that you do in afforestation or activities which are full of uh, uh, the green certification, meaning using renewable energy, uh, solid waste management, and so on, should be able to first come here to say, I have credits which I wouldn't want to sit idle, let it be traded. This place should be the place for getting uh, those credits what and sold. It is important to note here that the G20 had agreed on fulfilling the nationally determined contributions and Gift City in that way uh, can serve this purpose because it is estimated that India has a funding gap. This is very critical for all of you all to recognize. India has a funding gap of 10.1 trillion US dollars to meet its net zero commitment which has been given as of 2070. So the commitment will have to be fulfilled by 2070 and for that, we need 
about 10.1 trillion US dollars and unless we have a recognition of this problem in our hand, we wouldn't be able to raise the money for it.